like last stock was almost secured like super quickly uh but going into it we're gonna have zoomander first kuroki uh on the other side one of our our third wolf of the top eight making their first appearance right this is gonna be a very interesting matchup of uh rano versus sylvanos um Oh, before I get into it, it's still, congrats to uh, Heels Good for getting that 7th place, by the way. Oh, yeah. um, Good stuff. Very, very fun set to watch. And uh, now we got more Grass Wolf content with Zoomander. Yeah, and that set could have gone either way. Uh, oh, definitely. So definitely good stuff from both players, Heels Good and Tricky. But getting into it, uh, Kuroki building themselves a pretty solid lead, uh, able to get a nice parry on down tilt. Yeah, their their punish game has like always been a, a very clean part uh, of their play, and that that's just Rano. Like Rano, his forward air is is crazy. The the down tilt, the nair, the back air, like all of it is just really really uh, fast and and impressive. And for Sylvanos to try and deal with, like Sylvanos doesn't really have uh, the greatest answers back. Uh, I don't think, but. Um, so Manos uh, does has the disjoint to completely wall out Rano before Rano can get in. So see, but the name of the game is uh, with that is Rano has a lot of fast burst movement options. Is can you know when they're gonna try to come at you, and have are you ready with the right button for the right approach? And so far, uh, Zoomander hasn't been having the right options. Just barely taken. Kuroki's first stock, uh, but still a super solid lead coming out from Kuroki. And yeah, like all this, I I love the little single needle that they do. Um, Kuro just like that that little single needle could actually interrupt a jump. Like if if you're like Zoomander trying to jump, like right there, that single needle if. If Zoomander jumped, that's a jump gone, because that just got interrupted by a needle. Yeah, and if you don't have that jump and you're not aware, like, maybe you think you still have it, that can be a dangerous spot to be and you can potentially ST your stock. Yeah, and that's more than likely gonna happen. But, oh my gosh. Yeah, just barely coming back, Zoomander. Uh, right here on the, the brink of death. And the patience? Oh, yeah. And it good. paid off. Yeah, good patience coming out from Caro. Super solid stuff coming out in this uh, game one. Uh, wow. You know, kind of just running the train on the first stock happens so quickly. And, you know, it was the same thing in that uh, brunch torque set, that game four and that game three of just taking the first stock solidly and just maintain the lead after that and you're solid. Yeah, and just having that opening lead is, is like, crucial even. Like, and yeah, of course, it's possible to just drop it, but, like, to maintain it and, and just hold it, like, oh, yeah. that, that's it. Like, it's over. Yeah, you it's had that so lead much, that's it. yeah, it's so much easier to maintain a lead than it is to be behind and make the comeback. It's it's possible, but, it's like, Kara saying, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneak my lead in right here just absolutely deleting that stock from Zoomander. And not in any super long, like, combo to death fashion, but just some solid reads of like, all right, I'm gonna do this combo, and after you're, you'll be about here, I'll wait for your option, and then I'll hit you after. Oh, yeah, look at this evasive movement here from Kara. They just decide to go back to the platform. And then try to do a plat drop aerial approach. And that worked out perfectly. Yeah, yeah it, I feel like all this aerial play. Yeah, but it's all coming up, Caro. I mean not the DI on that down smash, but this game is it's still super solid we come from Caro. You only oh, need you one the, down. That evasion of the, the tongue right there. Yeah, the micro walk back, that was super clean. Yeah, and the jump too to just guarantee it. It's good, but Ouch. Yeah, Ford's trying to catch that landing. Uh, taking that second stock from Zoomander. And this again, this is this is Caro maintaining that lead. Right? So Caro taking that first stock, 
And look at this, 64 right now on the second stock, and 41 on Zumandu. Yeah, it it's the same name. It, it's the same thing. And Carol's can I just say Carol's been landing so many tons today. Yeah. And like, the I'm... the capitalization on it too is good. Yeah, he's always getting or they are always getting at least like some solid percent, if not your stock, off of every single one of these tongues that they're landing. Yeah. Oh, that downstroke yeah. catches, but oh, that's a very smart. Yeah, very smart to, to evade and just go straight down rather than drifting in or out. I, I thought Zubander oh. was dead. Oh. Yeah, and that parry is definitely doing it. Yeah. No way to parry back. Good recognition from Karo, getting the parry on it. You know, not an option you see a lot from Sylph players, like coming back to stage with Hal, it's definitely more of like a neutral or I'm an advantage option. So being able to recognize, oh, this is what Zooman is trying to go for, um, I'm ready for it anyways. Yeah. Like, um, super solid answers to a lot of the stuff that Zoomander is trying to put on the table here. Game three, we're going to um, spare tree. Actually, I think against both uh, both of these characters, we actually wouldn't want to play against them. And uh, you know, thinking about it, Rano has like you know the the horizontal space, and just like the that platform is really stupid because like forward strong can just hits the entire thing. We like even yeah. when you're standing at because this platform is a little lower than normal like platforms that are lower like the. Tower of Heaven platform or the Merch Report side platforms, you know, like those those are like at a standard height, but these are slightly lower. Yeah, and you, there's a lot of stuff that uh, we will normally not hit if you're underneath the platform that will just hit underneath if you're underneath these platforms. Yeah, so it's very scary. The I want to comment. I just saw something incredible. Um, I think it was zoom into the pinning with the, the back air at the edge of the stage, and then air dodging down because Carol runs up and tries to forward air spike, but that air dodge down saves zoom into life. And I thought that was just really sneaky and really cool. Yeah, that was some good evasive play coming out from Zoomander, but Caro is still able to secure the stock before Zoomander can. Not yeah. able to build quite as solid of a lead as, we, as we've seen in the first two games. Uh, but still being able to take that stock first is, uh, is what it's you big want. Still. Yeah, it's still big. Oh my gosh, interrupting that with the... the did you see that? The going back and forth to actually just try and hit Kara. And wow, look at this. Like, this momentum oh, going wow. in favor of Zoomander. Yeah, I think it's this is big. like the first time Zoomander's had a lead in the set. This is good. This could be your moment to bring it back. Ooh. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, the backers! Oh, the backers! That was that, beautiful. This is a yeah. super solid stock taken right there. Yeah, and that was some... That interaction started pretty early on. I can't remember what Caro was at, but... Uh, just able to take that one interaction and run with the momentum. Good stuff coming out from Zoomander. Oh, these down tilt? No? Ooh. Good parry, yeah, and that's yeah. even stocks, but right now, it, this is different. Zoomander has the sleep now, so yeah. uh, how, is gonna care, uh, how is Caro going to answer back? Excuse me. Yeah, it's Zoomander's game. Ooh, DI did on the forward air. Not quite getting uh, the side that Zoomander wanted to be on. Maybe trying to mix up Kara's DI, uh, but Kara was able to DI back on before. Oh no! Oh no. That's tragic. What was Unlucky. that, a down air? That was back air and just fast Back air. Off. Yeah. Ah. Wow. Well, you know what they say, we take those, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you're Zoomander, we unlucky. take those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Definitely unlucky for Kara, though, like, for sure. That's that's not a way you want to lose a game. Yeah, but... that doesn't feel good. It, it's always a, a hit to the mental when you SD stock in a tournament like this. Especially yeah. at a pretty early percent like that too, like you were in a right. pretty decent spot to take the game. Doesn't feel great. Right, especially on last stock too, it can hurt. So, yeah. But we are on Fire Capital, our game four. Um, oh, I was expecting a parry there, but Kara decided, hey, I'm just gonna break the flower. 
I have to deal with the hell. Yeah, going uh, for the parry after really anyways, which is pretty funny. I definitely do that <laughs> same hero, same. Yeah, that's uh, that's funny. Um, pretty even so far here. Uh, neither player getting anything too huge started. Okay, it's uh, like relatively even, yeah. But, yeah. um... Yeah, this stage is, is much bigger. This is definitely just more space to work with, uh, rather than, like, smaller ground. So you yeah. get, like, a lot more patience is just gonna happen. And, oh, holding in on that bubble! Ooh! Oh, and no, that and if you're Karo, like, Yeah, if you're Karo, you love the space and the platforms that this stage offers, uh, especially playing a character like Rano. You know, you're able to choose your opening, your approaches, uh, a bit easier, and able to... Uh, play this evasive game, evading the ward air, and just getting the parry on the down B after. Good stuff from Karo, getting the first stock. Yeah, and oh, that was a beautiful up special way up there because that actually avoided the up air from Zoomander, I'm pretty sure. So that was, that was crazy good. Yeah, good, good evasion. And, and uh, Zoomander keeps going for these down Bs and Karo's just ready every time. Getting Damn so many it, parries on these. bubble too. Yeah, so many of these uh, parries into tongues are just hard callouts with tongues leading into a huge percent from Karo uh, this set so far. I imagine uh, we'll see more of that to come. Ooh. Okay. Oh, okay, this is good. This is definitely a good pace for Zoomander. Now we're back at an edge guard. Okay, make it back, but yeah. ouch, I mean, back air. Yeah, Karo's just super playing super solid this set. Able to yeah. evade a lot of the stuff oh, Zoomander's doing, able to get his own combos and edge guards off pretty cleanly. Yeah. Wow, that was almost it. Right yeah, then and there, and it's all off of bubble. Like, Karo's so great at landing tongue, and then just capitalizing crazy good on it. Yeah, I'm uh, just looking for reads now. Yeah, I'm just trying to end it. But... <gasps> wow. Wow. The up air one into down strong, taking it. <laughs> good stuff from Karo. But it's still the way to end it. But yes. Yeah. That right. Take, that takes two, two out of three, two out of three wolves out. Wow. So yeah, starting with three. And now we only have one. 